Hello my friends, today we are on Luminar Neo and we are going to completely transform this image over here. We'll change the mood of the image using the new Mask AI. Mask AI, it's a great, great improvement with the latest version of uh, Luminar Neo. If you do not have Mask AI, uh, go to your Luminar Neo and check for updates. Make sure you have the version 1.06 and this is the version that has the Mask AI. So let's start changing this image and um, I will go to edits. Let's talk a little bit about this image. I really like this image. I did not take this photo. It, uh, I took it from Unsplash, but I think it has this like moody, kind of like almost sad look and I wanted to make it more upbeat, something more romantic, more happy. I wanted to be like, you know, at the sunrise or sunset or in the fall. I'm not sure exactly where I want to get with this image, but I just want to change the mood of it. So how would I do that? Well, first of all, I will go to develop and I want to brighten a little bit my person and also add a little bit of golden light because I wanted to, you know, have a warmer tone. If you're not familiar with um, <clears throat> color theory, um, cooler tones usually will make you feel a little bit more cold, a little bit more sad, more mysterious, where warmer tones usually give a happier, more upbeat uh, feeling to your images. So let's see how we would do that. I will go to masking and now with the great mask AI that we have, Luminar Neo is analyzing the image. We see have this cool graphic thing and now we found a human sky floor architecture and whatever, but we are interested in the human right now because is, that is the one we want to lighten up and add some, you know, golden tones to it. So we have our human selected. And now we can go to adjustments and I'm just going to brighten a little bit, not too much, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to increase the white balance to make it more golden, something like that. Maybe even a little bit of magenta, just so it doesn't look too yellow. So now this is our before and after so far. And you can see how our eye is drawn to the girl before and after. And that looks great. Next, I would like to darken the top portion of my image. I wanted to make it all kind of one tone because right now the sky is pretty bright and my eye kind of wants to go there. But I want to darken the sky and just kind of let the person be the brightest thing in the image. The way I would do that, I'm going to close the develop, open it again, and this time I am going to go to mask and I will use an adjustment, turn down the exposure, something like that. Then I will go to mask and use a linear gradient and I will drag this gradient down something like that. Now remember we brighten the person and we do not want to darken the person. So how can we subtract this person? from our linear gradient that is darkening the sky. Well, if we go back to our AI mask, we still have the sky selected, even though you don't see it anymore. And now we click on human, it will add the human selection to the sky. So you see we have our uh, linear gradient and our human selected, but here is the cool trick. If I go and click human again, it will actually subtract it from the selection. So now you see the gradient is kind of going behind the human and it doesn't affect her. And now if I go to adjustments, you see I have darkened the sky, but she is still bright. I can even darken it a little bit more, something like that. Great. Now I want to do a little bit of color grading and change the greens into a more brown. I wanted this whole image to have that brown golden look. The way I will do that, I will go into my layers and I have here an overlay. It's really just an orange layer. You can go take pictures of anything orange you have in your house or whatever color you want to color grade your image. In this case, I use just a layer that is orange. And I will change the blending mode to soft light and I will reduce the opacity to something maybe like 50%. And let's see, this is our Without the color graining, everything is kind of looking green. And then with the layer, with the color graining, we turn things into more brownish tone. And I can further edit these greens by going into my main layer and go into color and into the hue. 
and the way I will work with this, I want to take the greens and take, turn them into yellows. By doing that, I'm completely removing the greens, making them more yellow. And now this um, image looks a lot more brown instead of green. So this is the before and after, before and after. It kind of brings everything together. All right. So everything is looking great so far. But the unrealistic part about this image, as we have it right now, is that everything is kind of dark and gloomy, but we have this light on her face and we need to see where the light source is coming from. We can't just have everything dark and she is lit and unless you use a flash, you would not get such a result. I apologize for my background noise. I do have uh, construction going on. I have an addition and um, they are not going to stop anytime soon. So we have to make these tutorials through the noise. All right, as my next uh, edit, I want to add a light source. So we will pretend that we have a sunset and light is somewhere outside the frame here on the right. And it will just cast a nice light over the right side of the image, somewhere in the middle over here. The way I will do that is I will go back to my develop and I am going to increase the brightness, something like that. And I will add some gold into it because we want that golden tone. And now we can mask it and use a radial gradient. I'm going to make a pretty big gradient, something like that. But I want to squish it down because the sun will pretend it's kind of like around the horizon. Let's see, I'm going to get it up a little bit, maybe even a little bit longer. But now the problem is if I will just accept this uh, selection, you see my mask, I'm applying this golden color on the outside of my uh, radial gradient. So I need to invert it. So there we go. We have this button over here, invert. And now this is where our golden light is going to be. The problem now is we have this radial gradient that will give us our golden uh, light. But we already added some golden light in the beginning to our human, if you remember. And I don't want to add any extra because that would just make her look too bright and too orange. So the way to fix that is go into our AI mask. And if you remember the trick we did before with the sky, I will click into the human. And now I have my uh, radial gradient and the human selected. And then if we want to subtract, if we want to take away the human selection, from the radial. How do we do it? Well, you probably guessed it. We have to click on human again, and that will take away the selection from our radial. You see that? So our golden light will go behind the person and it would look like it lightens her face without adding any extra light or golden tone to her skin. So if I go to adjustments now, I can even increase it even more, something like that. And now we have a motivating light, a light that it comes from the right side of the screen. We do not see it. We can imagine it's the sun and it lightens their face and give us this really nice, romantic, kind of, you know, beautiful image. This is the image we started with. It was kind of gloomy and a little bit maybe sad, mysterious. It was still a beautiful image, but now we created something a lot more pleasing to the eye, I think. And I hope by watching this video, you learn at least a few techniques that for, by using mask, you can use in your own um, photos. If you have any questions, please do comment below and I will try to respond to every comment I get. I will be making a lot more tutorials with masking because it's a lot you can do with it. It is not a perfect mask as of right now. Uh, with this uh, Luminar Neo version 1.06, but I do know they will work on it and it will improve a lot for the next few months. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I will see you in my next video.